Hi guys, I'm back today. I'm going to read Luke 4 to 10, Proverbs 30, and Psalm 69 to 69. And Jesus, for the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan, and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness so for forty days. He intended by the devil, and he ate nothing during those days. And when they were ended, he was hungry. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become be hungry. And Jesus answered him, but man shall not live by bread alone. And the devil took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And a moment of time and said to him, To you I will give all this authority and make way. We have been delivered to me, and I will give it to him I will. If you then will worship me, and I will be yours. And Jesus answered him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. And he took him to Jerusalem, and sat him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down here for his word. Your command is angels concerning you, God, you, and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. And Jesus answered him, and he said, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And the devil entered every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. And Jesus returned to the palace of spirit to Galilee, and I reported about him when I flew all the surrounding country. And he told him the sin of the glorified by him, and he came to Nazareth with a and brother. And as was custom, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and he stood up to read. And the scroll, you know, the prophets I was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where he was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he is among me. To proclaim good news to the poor, he sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives, and uh, having a sight to the blind, to set liberty to those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. He rolled the scroll to and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And I saw all in the synagogue fixed on it, and he began to say to him, To me, the scriptures have been fulfilled in your hand. I will speak well of him and marvel at the gracious words that have come from his mouth. And he said, Is not this Joseph's son? He said to him, Doubtless you'll quote to me this power of physician for yourself when the all year. All we have heard you do, Cape, and I'll do here in your hometown as well. He said, Joy, I say to you, no prophet is at the one in his hometown. And in truth, I tell you, there were many widows in it, so in the days of Elijah. And the hands were shut up three years and six months, and great famine cast over all the land. And Elijah was sent to none of them, but only to Zephyr, and last year unto a woman who was a widow, and many lepers in the land in Israel at the time of the prophet Elisha. And none of them were cleansed, but only named the Syria. And they had these things, and they annulled all of the sin of the Lord's wrath. And they rose up, and did my other town, and brought them to the Brad Hill, which they had and was burst, so they could throw them down the ground. Passing through them, as he went away, and came on the sea of Galilee, and teaching them in the and the side with news was the teaching. And his word was just authority, and the sin of those men had a spirit of unclean deed. The cry was that was how no fee to do with this Jesus and that have you come to destroy us. I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent, come out of him. And the demon had thrown him down there, unless he came out of him, having done him no harm. And they were all amazed and said to him, What was this word? For with authority and power he had commenced unclean spirits. And then come out, and reports about him went out into every place in the surrounding region. And he arose and left the synagogue and entered Simon's house. And Simon's mother in law was ill with high fever, and they appealed to him on the head of the half, and he stood over her and rebuked the fever. Then left her immediately, she rose and began to serve. And then Simon was setting, setting all those who were any who were sick, with various diseases were him to with them too. And he laid his hands on every one of them, and he healed them. And demons such as came out of many, crying, You are the Son of God. He rebuked them and not allowed them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. And in this day he departed and went into a desolate place. And if people saw men came to him, he would have kept him for leaving them. He said to I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God to the other tents as well. I said for this purpose, and he was preaching the same laws to do that. On one occasion, one of the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God. He was standing by the lake of Genesis, and he saw two boats by the lake. But a fisherman had gone out of the moment washing that night. He came to one of the boats, which was Simon's, he asked them to put it out a little from the man. He sat down and told the people from the boat. The infant speaking, he said to Simon, put it out into the end of the day in the third cat. Simon answered, Master, he told it all night and took nothing. I do what I let down the net, and when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish. And nets were breaking, and they sent to their partners in order, and the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both of both, so that they began to sink. And some Peter saw it, and fell out Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I myself and my own Lord. And he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so, so were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid, for now you will be catching men. And they brought their boats to land, and they left everything and followed him. Now he was a one of the seas, and he came and went for leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell on his face and begged him. Well, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he charged him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest, and make him offer for your cleansing as most kind. For a proof to him, and now, and now even more the report about him went abroad. And great crowds gathered to him, and to be healed in the families. He was joy to desolate places and pray. And on one of those days, he was teaching Pharisees and teaching the law. The same day, he had come from Mary, the of Galilee, and Judea, and from Jerusalem. And found the Lord was looking to him, and he heard all the sun men were waiting in the bed of his palace. And they were seeking to bring him in and then lay up for Jesus, minding their way to bring him in, because the they went up on the earth and ran down the church, but threw the charles into the mist before Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Man, you sin, they're forgiven. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, saying, Who is this that speaks blasphemies? And give us sin, forgive sins for God. 
and just receive their thoughts and answer them while you're questioning your heart. And it's just easier to say your sins are forgiven, you ought to say rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sin. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your bed and go home. Immediately he rose up of them, rose up before them, and him. That he would be in the line on the way home, glorified and go. And they in the season one, they glorified God were filled with all sin, and you've seen extraordinary things to me. After this he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi, seeing at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And Levi, everything he wrote, followed him. Levi made one great feast in his house, saying there was a large company of the tax collectors, others were climbing a table with them. And the Pharisees and the, and the scribes came with us to stop saying, Why do you eat and drink the tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered them, Those who are the world, well, have no need of a physician. And so sick, I have not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. And he said to him, The disciples of John fast off and for them. Of a prayer, and so do the disciples of the Pharisees. They yours eat and drink, and Jesus said to them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bride goes with them? And Jesus will come when the bride was taken away from them. And they'll fast in those days. And Jesus told them a parable. No one takes a piece from a new garment and puts on an old garment. He does, he'll tear the new, and the piece from the new will not mess the old. If no one puts new wine into old wine skins, if he does, the new wine will burst the skins. It will be spilled, and the skins will be destroyed. New wine must be put into fresh wine skins. And no one after drinking old wine says new, for he says, Oh, it's good. On the Sabbath, while he was going through the grain fields, his disciples plucked out and ate some heads of grain. Rather than their hands, some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath? And Jesus answered them, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry? He and those who were with him, how he entered the house of God, and took and ate the bread of the presence. It is not lawful for any but the priest to eat, and it is to give it to those with him. And he said to them, Son of man is the Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, he entered the sin, was teaching, and a man was there whose right hand was with him. And his guys and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would heal on the Sabbath, so that they might find him and use him to accuse him. But they knew their thoughts, and he said to them, Now with him. And Thomas stand here, and he rises to them, and Jesus said to him, Now see, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or destroy? And after looking around at them, he said to him, Stretch out your hand, did so, and his hand was restored. And they were in the field of fear and disgust on another what they might do to Jesus. In those days, he went out to the mountain to pray all night, and he and prayed to God. And the day came, and called the Sabbath, and chose them to talk. And he named Apostle Simon, whom he named Peter, and he introduced brother, and James, and John, and Philip, and Bartholomew, Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zero. Zealot and Judas, son of James, Judas Ascari, who became a chair. He came down with them and stood in a level place with the great crowd of his disciples and the great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem with the sea coast of Simon Cedar. He came to him and to behold their disease. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were killed. And all the crowd sought to touch him, for power came out from him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, They stay you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. They stay you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. They stay you who are now, for you shall laugh. I say when people hate you and they exclude you and rebel you and spend your lives with you. And I found the Son of Man rejoicing that day and leave for joy behold, for behind you, your reward is great in And so they passed it so far. Glory to you who are rich, and you will receive your consolation. Glory to you who are full now, for you shall be hungry. Glory to you who laugh now, laugh now, for you shall mourn away. Glory to you when most people, people speak well. So they passed it to the false prophet. And when I say to you, here, love you, and it's too good to those who hate you. I say to you, pray for those who abuse you. Do one strike you tell them that you offer the other person? And the one who takes away your product, do not withhold your chin either. Give to everyone who begs from you, and the one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that other would do to you, so do so to them. If you love those who are quite, they really love you, what benefit is that to you? Even sins love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? Even sins do the same. If you lend to those to whom, from whom you expect to receive, no what credit is that to you? Even sins lend to sins to get back the same amount. They love your enemies and do good, and then expect, expect nothing in return. Then your reward will be great, and you'll be sons of my son. And he's kind to you, ungrateful, and evil. And he messes with you, as your father's messes with you. Just know you'll not be judged. And then you tempt not, and you'll not be condemned. Forgiven, you'll be forgiven. Given, you'll be given to you. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over. When you put into your life, with the measure you use, you'll be measured back to you. And you used to tell them, Pam, can a blind man lead a blind man? And they knew what both fall into place. That was not about his teacher, but if only he's fully trained, and they'll be like his teacher. Why do you see the speck that's in your brother's eye? Did you notice the log that's in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me take out the stay and speck that is in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log that is in your eye, you hypocrite. Let's take the log out of your own eye, and then you will be seen clearly to take the speck that is in your brother's eye. No good tree, and then bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree. No good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. No figs are gathered from thorn bushes, no grapes are picked from a mountain bush. The good person has goodness, and the heart produces good, and even person has evil treasure produces evil. Now the value of abundance of the highest must be. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do as I tell you? When he comes to me, he's my Lord. And does I'll show them what he is like. He's like a man building a house. He dug deep and laid the foundation of the rock. And the flower rose, stream broke against the house, and he could not shake it. And because he's being well built, but the one who hears uh, his, and does not do it, is like a man who built a house in the ground without a foundation. 
I stream break against immediately I found the road of the house was great. After he finished all his sayings and like hearing the people he had to kick them. The centurion who was uh, who was sick and the point of death. It was highly valued by him when the centurion heard about Jesus he sent him elders of the Jews. And then asked him to come heal himself. When they came to Jesus, they played with him and was listening. He was ready to have you do this for him. And the love of the he was one who built a sense of God. And Jesus went with him. He was not far from the house. And the centurion sent friends to saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself. I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. And if I did not presume to come to you, you'd say the word of my son, be cool. I too, and then sound death only. And it's always under the end. I said to one, go, he goes to him, turn to come, he comes. And my servant do this, and he does. And Jesus heard these things, he marveled at it, and having to go for him. He said, I tell you, you know, 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 and then and seven began to speak. Jesus came to his mother. They seized them all and they glorified God, saying, Great prophets were among us. And God speaks to his people. And when this report of Anna spread through the whole Judea and all the surrounding community, country, the disciples of John were released things to him. And John called to his disciples to let them to the Lord, saying, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? And the men who had come to him, they said, John the Baptist sent us to you, saying, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? And now I see many people with disease and plagues and evil spirits, and many who are blind, he bestowed sight. Yes, and go and tell John, I'm away, what you're seeing in her. If I receive their sight, the lame will collapse, I promise the deaf here, the deaf will be there erased her. Paul of Gideon's praise to him, that's the one who's not offended by me, and John's messengers are called. You just going to see to the crowds concerning John, what did you go into witness to see? I'm already shaken by the woman, what then did you go out to see? Then dressed in soft clothing, behold, I was so dressed in splendid clothing and living luxury and king's clothes. And then, what then did you go out to see? A prophet, yes, I tell you, more than a prophet. And then, this is he of whom is written, behold, I said, I was never before your face. I will prepare your way before you, I tell you, among those born one, I was greater than John. With the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And uh, uh, one then shall compare the people of this generation. And uh, what are they like? They are like children in the rock, unless according to one another. And you hate the fruit for you, if you do not death. You sing a dirge and you not weep. And uh, John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine. Drinking no wine. And, and you say, he has his name. So the man has come eating and drinking. You say, look at him, a glutton and a drunkard. And a drunkard. A friend of Tech left since he was not just rabbi or John. And one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him. And then he went to the Pharisees' house and called a table. And then he called a woman to see who was a sinner. But then she learned that he would call a table in the Pharisees' house, but an out of lust of fuss and went. The same behind my eyes, feet, leaving, she began to wash his feet with her tears, and wiped them there, but had kissed his feet and rubbed them with the ointment. And when the Pharisees did buy him saw this, he said to himself, His man was prophet, he wouldn't know who and what sort of woman this is who's touching me, because he is a sinner. And she said, Answer, answer, accept his slime. I have something to say to you, and he said to say, and it's to say to teach. And so money lender had two debtors, one owed five hundred dinner and the other one fifty. When they cannot pay their own accounts, he cancelled the debt of both. Now which of them will love him more? Some answered, The one I suppose for him he cancelled larger debt. And he said to him, You judge rightly. And attended toward the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I enter your house, you gave me no water for my feet, because she's wearing her feet with my her tears, and wiped them with her head. You gave me no kiss, so from the time that I came here, she's not ceased to kiss my head. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she is anointed my feet with ointment. If I tell you her sins, which are many, I forgive, for you love much. Yet he who is forgiven and forgiven and little loves little. And he said to her, Since I forgive those who are at table with them begin to say among themselves, Who is this who you begin to say? He said to woman, Your faith has saved your grand peace. Soon after he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing good news to the kingdom of God, and told war with the rest of some woman who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. And he called Magdalene from him seven days ago. And Joanna, the wife of Jesus, Herod's household manager, and Susanna, many others who provide for the man of their needs. And a great crowd was gathering, and people from town after town came to him, he said in the parable. So I went out to sow seed, and uh, as he said, some fell among the path, and I was jumping on the foot, and the birds he had devoured it. And some fell on the rock, and it grew up, it withered away because it had no moisture. Some fell among thorns, and thorns grew up with it and choked it. And some fell into good soil, and yield grew, and yield a hundredfold. And he said these things, he called out, and he used his to hear here. When his sons asked him what this parable meant, he said, to you has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but for others they are in power. They are in power. So seeing what they may not, they may not see it. Hearing they may not understand. Now the power is the seed is the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have not heard. And the devil comes and takes away the word from the house, so that they, so that they may not well believe and be saved. And the ones in the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. They have no root. They believe for it well. In time testing, they fall away. And when fall, fell among the ones. 
And yeah, for those who hear, but as they go on the way, they're choked by the kitchen, which is in places of life. And the fruit does not mature as for that, and the good so there. Those who hear the word, hold it fast and honest and good heart, and bear fruit with patience. No one after lighting a lamp comes it with a jar or puts under it. That's all stand, and those who enter me see the light. Nothing hidden now will be made manifest, nor is anything secret now not be known come to light. Take care then how you hear, for to the one who has more to give. And the one who's not even what he thinks he has will be taken away. And his mother is about to get him, you cannot reach him because he will just cry. He has told your mother and your brothers are standing outside, desiring to see. And he says, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. One day he got into a boat with his disciples and said to him, let's go across the other side of the lake, so they said, and they said he fell asleep. And a windstorm came down in the lake, just in filling with water and were in danger. And he went over and him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he awoke and rebuked the wind and the raging waves, and they ceased. And there was a calm, he said to him, Where's your faith? And they were afraid, and the mouth saying to him, Who then is this? And he commands even the winds of water, and they obey him. And they sailed out of the country of the garrison, which is opposite Galilee. And Jesus stepped out on land, and they met him a man from the sea who had demons. For a long time he had worn no clothes, he had not lived in a house but among the tombs. And he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him, and said in a loud voice, What have you to do with him, Jesus, son of the most high God? I beg you, don't torment me, for he is commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the earth. Come out and come out. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion, for many demons have entered him. And, and they begged him not to command them to depart to this. Now, a large herd of pigs was feeding down the hillside, and they begged him to let them enter these. But he gave them permission, and the demons came out of the man and entered the pigs. The herd rushed down the steep bank until they could drown. And the herdsmen saw what happened. They fled and told him the sea in the country, and the people went out to see what happened. And they came to Jesus and found the man whom the demons had called. Sent to feed Jesus, clothed them in his right hand, and they were afraid. And those who seen told them how the demon possessed man was being here. And when the people surrounding the country, the garrisons asked him to depart from them. And they also was very fierce, so he got into a burn and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone back, that he might be as a youth sent away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. And then he went away, proclaiming throughout the whole city how much Jesus had done for him. And then Jesus returned, and the crowd welcomed him, and they were all waiting for him. And he came in there, Jerry, so it was ruled the same, all falling at Jesus' feet. And they brought him to come to his house, he was the only daughter. About twelve years age, and she just died. And Jesus went, the people pressed around him. And there was a woman who had, who had had a discharge of blood for twelve years, and though she spent all her all her living on visiting, she could not be healed by him. She came beside and him and touched the fringe of his mouth, and nearly her discharge of blood ceased. And Jesus said, Who was it that touched me? And they all denied. Peter said, Ask the Christ to rend you, and I'm pressing it on you. And Jesus said, Someone touched me, and five received that power's gone out for me. And the woman had saw that she was not here, and she came trembling, falling down before him, declared in the presence of all the healed why she had touched him, and she had been immediately healed. And he said to her daughter, Your faith has made you well, God in peace. And then, still speaking, someone from the Lord's house came and said, Your daughter is dead, do not trouble the teaching anymore. Jesus, on hearing this, answered him, Do not fear, only believe, and she will be well. Then he came to the house here, and allowed no one to enter with him except Peter and John and Jane, and the father and mother of the child. And they were all weeping and moaning for her, and he said, Do not weep, for she is not dead, but sleeping. And he laughed at him, knowing that she was dead, and taking her by the hand, and he called, saying, Child, arise. And his spirit returned, and she got out once, and he directed her something. She'll be given her to eat, and the parents were amazed, and the children did not know what happened. And he called the twelve together, and together and gave them power and authority. And they were the old demons and killed seeds, and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God, and to heal. And he said to them, Take nothing for your journey, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, and do not have two tunics. Whatever house you enter, to stay there, and from their depart. And if they do not receive you, will you and you leave a town shake of the dust of your feet as a testimony? And he goes, And they departed and went through the village, facing the gospel and healing everyone. And how the Tetrarch heard all that, all that was happening? He was perplexed because he was saying, My son, that John being risen in there. And some that Elijah had heard it, and some by some. Um, some of the prophets of old had risen. Herod said, John, I beheaded, but who is this uh, about him that he has such things? He sought to see him, and they returned the apostles, told him all that. All that they had done. He took them with Jude to, um, to a town called Bethsaida. And the crowds loved him, they had welcomed him. If all him, he welcomed them, respect him, and the kingdom of God. He killed those who needed him. The day began to wear away, and the twelve came and said to him, See, it, send the crowd away to go into the surrounding village in the countryside to find lodging and get provision, for we are here in dozen places. He said to them, and you give them something to eat, they say, We are no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go and buy food for these people. And they are about five thousand, they said to us, Have them sit down and go to about fifty fish, fifty each. So then he did so, and they all sat down. And David the five loaves and two fish, he caught the blessing over them. And they broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples to set for the ground. And they all ate and were satisfied, and what was left over was picked up twelve baskets of broken to pieces. And it happened that as he was praying, one of his disciples were with him. And he asked them, Where are you going to I am? And so uh, John the Baptist about the same Elijah and others among the prophets of all husbands. And he said to him, Who do you say that I am? And he answered, The Christ of God. 
And then you stick my charge command them, tell them to know and say, This one of men will suffer many things very different by the old and chief priests and scribes, and be killed on the third day of the race. And he said to all, If anyone would come after him, and after me, let him deny himself, and take out his cost daily and follow me. And I will save his life or lose him. And I lose his life or save him. What does it profit a man if he, if he gains a whole lot and loses and forfeits himself? And if, if he has shown me, Ashamed of me and of my words, will this here? Yeah. Of him will the Son man be ashamed when he comes in glory and the glory of the Father and the holy angels. And I tell you truly, there are some standing here on my pace death until they see the kingdom of God. After about eight days, they came on. And after these things, he took with the pure angel. Then James went up in the mountain to pray. In this praying, the appearance of his face was altered, his clothing became dust and white. He held two men were talking with him. The rest is the light who appeared in glory and spoke of his departure. He was about to accomplish the Jews, and now Peter and those who were with him were heavily. And then he came forward with the source of and the two men who stood with him. As the men were parting from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it's good that we are here. Let's make three tents, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. And then knowing what he said, and as they were saying these things, God came over and them, and they were afraid to enter the car. And the voice came out of the car, saying, This is my son, the chosen one. And it was a turn, and the voice that spoke, and Jesus was found away. And he kept silent and told no one in those days anything about what they had seen. On the next day, when they come down from the mountain, a great crowd met him. And when a man from the car cried out, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He is my only child, the Holy Spirit sees him. And suddenly he cried out, convulsed him back before I was at the mat. And he shouted at him. And he shouted at him. And they were hardly leave. And I begged you to stop to cast out of Jesus answered, O faithless and twisted generation, how long am I to be with you and bear with you? And your son here, as he was coming, and he had a demon thrown into the ground and convulsed him. And Jesus rebuked the uncle and spirit. And then he beheld the boy and gave him back to his father. And they were all astonished at the majesty of God. And now they were all muffling everything, and everything that he was doing. Jesus said to his disciples, and those words sink into your ears. The son is about to be delivered into his mind. He did not understand the saying, but it was concealed from them. And they went up to and he was afraid to ask him about the saying. And I'll give you a rose among them. There were few of them who was with the grace. But Jesus, knowing the reason of the house, took a child and put him by his side and said to him, that Whoever sees this child in my name receives me. Whoever sees me receives him, he sent me. He is listed among you, he is the one, always the one who is great. John answered, Must we so solemn cast the idea of name and he tried to stop him because he does not know follow with us. He said to him, Do not stop me, the one who is not against you is for you. And the days drew near for him to be taken. He said, Please to head to Jews, and go to Jews, and he said, Let's lose head in there. And he went into the village of the Samaritans, and they cried right him. People did not receive him because his face was set toward Jerusalem. And his disciples, James and John, saw it. They said, Lord, do you want us to have a fire to come down from heaven to consume it? They turned around and beat them. He led them down to another village. And he said, Go the road. So one said to him, I'll follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Fox up, holes, and both of your heaviness. But the son of man is nowhere to lay his head. And another said, said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said, Don't leave the dead to bury the dead. I see you go and proclaim the king of God. And then another said, I'll follow you, Lord, but first let me let me first say farewell to those on my hand. He said to him, and puts his hand to fur and looks back and fits for the kingdom of God. So Proverbs 30. He went to Uncle's son Jacob the Oracle. The man declared to him, We are a guy, and we are a God, and one. I shall him too stupid to be a man. I have not been understanding from him. I have not learned wisdom enough in order to the Holy One. Who has sent heaven and come down? Who has gotten wind of this? Who has wrapped up the woods and come? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? What is the son's name? Surely you know. And what a God proves to you is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to those things. He will be a will be fine alive. Do you think I will ask you here for him? Do not them to me for either. Who fell from any falsehood and lie? Give me that top me no riches. He gave me the faith that is given for me, lest I be fallen to me. And say, Who is Lord? No, lest I be poor and see on for it in the name of my God. No slander is said unto his master, lest he curse me, be held guilty. May those who curse their fathers and do not bless him. May those who claim their own master and not wash them in their blood. May those who have lofted out their eyes, how high their eyelids left those who have teeth as sore as two fangs and eyes. Devour the poor from off the earth and leave all their mankind. At least she's two dollars. Give and give three things and never satisfy. Four never say enough. Uh, show the barren woman. Land never satisfy with water. And the father never says enough. Uh, the works of father that's going to obey. Mother would pick over the ravens of thine as it's near by the woods. Three things still want to fall me. I do not understand. The raven eagle in the sky. The raven seven in the rock. The raven ship on the high seas. The raven man with the virgin. This is the way the world of sheets and what's on earth and says I don't know. Now three things the earth jumps in the four cow barrel. So then he becomes king. And the woman she and she gets a husband. And she gets a husband. And when he hears nothing. And it makes so much easier spices and mistress. But things on earth are small, but they exceedingly wise. The hands are people not strong, they provide the food in the summer. The rock pets are people not money, they make the hands of the coach. The rocks have no king at all the much of rank, and what's you can take in your hands is in king's palaces. The only things are stately in their trip, or stately in their stride. The line which the mice among beasts and does not turn back before any. So I wish the heat that is king's armies with them. And if you being forced to exalt yourself, you have been devising you will put your hand in your mouth. The pressing move produces curse. As the nose produces blood, pressing hand produces strife. Psalm 69. Save me, I go for the words that come up to my neck.
And then I sink a deep my way there's no foot I come into the woods. And the thought sees me, and I'm wearing my crying out, my throat is cross. And I just go down waiting for my gun more than the heads of my head. But there's a hate me that cause and then in my head there's who destroy me. Just remember, there's a time of life. What did I not steal? Must I now restore? Hey God, you know my folly. The wrong guy done, I'm not hidden from you. It's not those who hope in you. Hope in you, be but shame for me. Oh God, God, I hope. Let those who see you be brought to you. Do something for me. You've got to do something. This is your voice, the guy's born in prison. And it's always coming by my face. So it becomes strange to my brother. And into my mother's sons. As your fate has consumed me. And I didn't approach the truth of those who are approaching it for one of me. When I wept and humbled myself, fasting, it became my approach. When I may suffer my call, that I became a Bible to I talk with those who see me in the game, and the drunkards make songs about me. That's me when prayers to you, oh Lord. Oh Lord, it's acceptable to have my God, and it abounds your status, Lord, and it's me in the same way for me. Deliver me from sick and mind, and may be delivered from my enemies, and from the deep waters, and not the flood that sweep over me. Well, the deep swallowed me up, and the pit closes its mouth over me. And as me, the Lord, for your steps, love is good. I'm born to you have mercy, touch me. I don't your face from me, so if I am in distress, make haste to answer me. Draw near to my sorrow, do you answer me, because my enemy. You know I'm approaching. Yeah, my shame of my soul. My prayers are all night to you, but precious is the bird in my heart, and I am in despair. And for people, there was not. And I am for compass, but I found that they gave me poison for food. And my thoughts, they gave me sour one to drink. And then the antiquity before them becomes snare, and they have peace, and it becomes dry. Let the eyes be dark, so that they cannot see me, then the lions jump continue. Let your indignation up upon them, and let your burning anger take them. And yet, there can be a desolation, let no one dwell in them. They persecute him, and he shut down, and even found the pain of those who were wounded. And to the punishment upon punishment, they have no clue for you. Let me brought out of the book of the living, let them not be a mother among them. And righteous, let them put down with you. You know, just to listen to the Lord, God said, I'm not going to name of God with the song, I'm going to write him thanks to you. And if they the Lord more than us, we're both on the post. And we'll see that we're glad that you see God, that your hearts are right, the Lord, he's in you. And this is the best of them, in heaven and earth, praise him. Ceasing everything that moves in, for God saves and but the sea is subdued. The evil shall dwell them, but it's the offering of offspring of a certain shark that those in love's name should dwell in it. And then slash, and I did love's prayer, his prayer, his father tell, and at the end of the day, can you come be your trend like that, as in hell? Yes, there are day bad figures, there are issues for your undoubted, and some temptation is the evil one. Yes, the kingdom of the family will be found, and see you tomorrow. Bye.